Okay, we got the 2000 excursion, 2007-3 excursion running here, and got her pulled in the shop now. If you it seems if you uh, run your injector buzz test about 50 times, leave the truck plugged in all day and on a battery charger all day, it will eventually loosen up the injectors and start. But I'm just going. What I did was I got it running and then I drove it in here and then I drained the fuel out of the filter and shut the pump off just to show you something here. I'm checking to see if your IDM is working or not, or is firing your injectors. What I do is I got my uh, low amp probe, I got it set on 40 amp level. I got it around the supply wire to the IDM, and then I got the control wire to the IDM back probed. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to crank the engine over. I got my, I got the lap scope set up at, oh, uh, we're on a 40 amp scale on the on the channel two on the green wire, and then on a 50 volt scale on the yellow on the yellow line on the first channel, and we're on a 200 millisecond scale. So the truck might we'll probably make an attempt to start here. There's still probably a little bit of fuel in, but uh, we'll crank it over here and then we'll take a look at the lab scope, see what happens. Okay. That should be long enough, and then we'll stop the scope here, and then we'll uh, drag this back, and I'll show you something. We'll uh, increase our screen so we get the whole thing on it. And all, the only purpose of this is to show that uh, if you do have a no start situation. And you want to know if your injectors are, if the uh, if the I if the injector driver module is commanding your injectors and there is current getting to your injectors, just by having that supply wire to your IDM with the low amp probe around, you can see our current ramp to the IDM because every time it fires the injector, it's going to draw more current on the supply wire to the IDM or you could go around the ground wire because anything that goes in is going to show up on the other side is going out. So basically what we have here is we uh, just uh, maybe we'll go just one more here we'll go to four times okay and what you could see here is that we have a nice even spacing of uh, eight of a firing line of eight cylinders in a row. So we know we're drawing current to fire eight injectors. So, you know, a lot of, I get calls all the time, do you have a spare IDM, you know, from other shops that I can use to test to see if mine's working or not? Well, if you're already in there that far where you got the wheel off and the fender liner down, just put your low amp probe around the supply wire of the IDM, crank the engine over, and if you've got, and what a lot of times will happen with your IDM is, the one bank will go out or even if you've got a problem you suspect a problem with uh, the uh, the valve cover gasket where the wires where the contacts break going through the valve cover gasket just do this test here and you can easily see that you're drawing a nice even current supply from uh, a nice you got a nice even firing of eight cylinders and your current supply is steady and Actually, our current draw on each of these cylinders is fairly, fairly steady too. We'll just uh, go back here to one cylinder. If you're looking for a current ramp like you would typically find on, like, say, a gasoline engine injector, you're not going to find it here because these are a little different. And we are actually checking the current being drawn by the IDM, which isn't firing an inj the injector the way a typical gasoline injector is fired. So don't expect. Uh, to get a, a sloping current ramp like you would with a uh, with a gasoline injector. So I guess that's about it. That's all I really wanted to show here is that you can actually use the low amp probe to check to see if your IDM is working or not. And then of course I got uh, signal to the IDM back probe so we can see that that uh, that the PCM is commanding the uh, IDM on and off too. So I'm not really sure. I'm not uh, really up to how this is all working here with the signal 
how the IDM is interpreting the signal from the PCM. I have to do a little bit more research into that, but we did get our, we did get our diesel running, and then uh, for the sake of this video, I went and disabled it again, so hopefully I can get it running here again without too much trouble. We'll just fill up the uh, filter, fuel filter base, run the pump for a few seconds, and uh, we should be up and running again. I think what I'm going to have to recommend to the customer is uh, either new injectors or try some kind of oil flush to see if maybe you can flush if there's something we can do to flush these injectors out because maybe they are just sticking. Once it did start, it started on about four cylinders first and then five, then six, and eventually she started running on all eight, but still not not what you would expect from it. Seven threes never did idle all that smooth in it. This one is rougher than than you would normally expect. So I guess that's about it for uh, this uh, little demonstration here. So that's it.